Hi, it's fall, my favorite time of year because everything this time of year is pumpkin. Now you, my friends, send me uh, messages of, for recipes and especially for products that I should try from the store. So Dennis and I decided that we would try them all. So what we've done here is we've gathered 60, yes, you heard me, that's 60 pumpkin, pumpkin spice, pumpkin flavor, pumpkin anything that we could find at our local stores. We've compiled them together and we're going to taste them for you. And we're going to vote on these. We've got so many items, we're going to have to break it up into a few different episodes. But this is what we're going to call our pumpkin spice, yay or nay, taste test. Here we are in our first of four episodes where we do the pumpkin taste test so you don't have to. We've got 60 items. We're going to do the breakfast items today. That's where we're going to start with with this first episode. We're going to taste them. Uh, Chris here is the pumpkin lover. I'm the not so pumpkin lover. I'm kind of the unbiased opinion here in the group. And after we taste them, we're going to vote. Show them how we're going to vote. Yay or nay or pumpkin yay. Pumpkin. So, we're going to get started right away. What's our first item here, Chris? First item is the uh, Quaker Oatmeal Pumpkin Spice Flavor. Okay. Good stuff. I've tried it, but let's let Dennis and I try it together. It's hot. <laughs> mm. It's hot, and it's oatmeal, and I'm getting absolutely no pumpkin. I have to agree, it's really good, but it just tastes like cinnamon. So, pumpkin day. It's good oatmeal, just not a lot of pumpkin. Yeah. Next up, we're going to stick with breakfast foods. We're going to go with pumpkin spice life cereal. I have milk. Because, you know, you can't have cereal without milk. Unless you're like me and eat it for a snack sometimes. All right. Let's see. Will Mikey like it? If you're old enough to get that joke. Once again, it's cereal. But I'm not getting any pumpkin. Pumpkin nay. Frosted mini wheat pumpkin spice mini wheats. Okay, now this has got to be good because they're frosted. So there's got to be some flavor there on the frosting, right? Right. Maybe I should let you open the bags. Okay, you get the milk. Now that's cheating, eating it without milk. That's the way I like my mini wheats, without milk. Hmm. Well, they do definitely have an orange color to them. That's, uh, that's promising. They have a little bit of sugar on them, but they don't taste much different than a regular old frosted mini wheat. So, hmm. I'm going to say... Nay. Okay, we're off to a disappointing start, so we're going to move on to uh, Special K. Uh, pumpkin Spice Special K. So far, you know, everything has tasted okay. It's not, uh, it's not bad, but we're looking for that pumpkin flavor that we... Hmm, no. Oh. No, I, I, you think? I think I'm going to disagree with you here. I think that might okay. actually have some pumpkin flavor. I could smell it. All right, I'm going to eat these. Hmm, I could smell it, but I can't taste it. Good picture on the box. <clears throat> Not enough taste in the product. So if you want to smell it, you could use it for potpourri, I guess. Keep them coming. All right, this has got to be good. They're Cheerios. I'll let you open it. Pumpkin spice, family size. Boy, I hope this one's good because there's a lot of it here. So family size, we might as well just pour out a whole bunch. <laughs> and just put some milk in there, would you? Okay, I'm not. Pumpkin spice Cheerios. Messy. They taste like 
Cheerios. Cheerios are good, but they taste like Cheerios. I need sugar. What if we try it without milk? Mm. No. No. Okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Pumpkin name. All right, Dennis. What do we got left in cereal? All cereals? right, this is the last chance for cereal. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Pumpkin Spice. Limited edition. That's I, right. You yeah. can't get this in March. Yeah, I really have no hope for this one either. Well, so far the cereal has been a disappointing product category. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but the other one smelled like that. Too. And mind you, we're not we're not uh, judging on the taste as far as if it tastes good or not. It's if it tastes like pumpkin. I have no hope for this. I kind of taste a little pumpkin in this, but a little pumpkin. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like they opened a pumpkin in the factory while they boxed up the cereal and just waved it over the top. <laughs> it's a nay. Yeah, I gotta say a nay. Too. What do we get to try next? Well, I think next we should go with let's let's do the donuts. We've got a couple right. different donuts over here. All right. We've got from Open Acres. We've got the glazed pumpkin donut holes. And from Krispy Kreme, if it's from Krispy Kreme, you know it's got to be good. All right. So we're going to start with the donut holes. I'm going to take one with lots of glaze on it. It tastes like a donut. It doesn't, it's nice, it's got a nice texture, but it doesn't taste pumpkin-y. It doesn't. Not a lot of pumpkin. Again, <laughs> Okay, Krispy Kreme. I just ate a donut. <laughs> What'd you eat? Hmm. I ate a glazed donut. Hmm. Just a glazed donut. Oh, I had my glaze on the bottom. That's why I didn't taste it. All right. Yep, I gotta agree. So far, we really have been striking out on the pumpkin flavor. So let's go double or nothing. Let's go with the... Pumpkin spice bagels covered with pumpkin spice cream cheese. All right. Thomas bagels. Ooh. And Philadelphia cream cheese. Looks like pumpkin. Smells like a bagel. Got a nice color to it. I think the cream cheese has a little pumpkin to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a bite of the bagel without any cream cheese on it because the only thing i'm tasting with pumpkin right now is the cream cheese which isn't all bad i agree so it's going to be a split decision for me it's going to be a yay for the cream cheese nay for the bagel. i agree okay let's go ahead with the english muffin because english muffin. i once feel again like that's... limited edition you can't just get this any time of year I have had these before. I do like them. But we are going to add maple pumpkin butter to this. Okay, well, I'm going to go without first. I'm going just for the English muffin. All right, well, then maybe I better do that too. Need something like flavor. <laughs> I think I accidentally bit into the packaging that it came in because it kind of <laughs> tastes a little bit like cardboard. No. Maple pumpkin butter? Um... Definitely pumpkin-y flavor, but reminds me of eating uh, baby food. <laughs> really does. English, English muffins. muffins. Mm. For the pumpkin butter, of course it is maple pumpkin butter. I'd say yay. It's going to be a split vote because I'm going to say yay. It just doesn't have enough pumpkin flavor for me. Wow. Okay. Okay, the next is... Um, Pepperidge Farm Swirl Pumpkin Spice Bread. Okay. Uh, it's a nice ooh. dense bread. And it's got nice little stripes inside it. That's probably, I smell cinnamon, definitely. Yes. Which is one of the spices in pumpkin mm -hmm. pie. So. It's going to be really good toasted with butter. 
but all I'm really tasting is cinnamon. So it's like a cinnamon swirl bread to me. I agree. So It's a very good cinnamon swirl bread, but not a good pumpkin. <laughs> Getting down to the end of our breakfast foods, next on the list is our frosted pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts. So I'll crack this open here. It's been kind of disappointing so far, so I've really got some low expectations. One for you. Okay. Pumpkin pie. I think someone accidentally <laughs> put brown sugar in mine, because that's what I'm getting. This is a brown sugar... The box lied to me. This is a brown sugar, no cinnamon pop tart. Mm, yeah, this is a, it's a good pop tart. Like a lot of as the as far foods. as pop tarts go, you know. And I don't like those plain pop tarts. I want glazed pop tarts, and it's a good glazed pop tart. I would eat it, but hmm, what do you think? Hmm. I would not confuse this for pumpkin pie. <laughs> nope. Sorry, pop tarts. We're down to our last two kind of breakfast foods. I would eat it for breakfast. Harvest time pumpkin spice mini cupcakes. I would I would call them mini muffins and that way I can justify eating them for breakfast. That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean That's just because I got idea. frosting on them. Doesn't do they, matter. Do they make birthday cake muffins? They're shaped like a muffin. All right, well, first of all there's a ton of frosting on this and personally I don't like a ton of frosting on anything like this. But well, wait a minute. There, there's, there's a fix for that. <laughs> there. Okay. okay. Now mine is fixed as well. <laughs> hmm. I like the cream cheese frosting, but it is just cream cheese. And I, in the muffin or cupcake, um, it just takes like a good moist. I mean, it's very moist. Um. It's almost like, reminds me of gingerbread or something. It's another Not zero a, for me. Yep. Okay. We have one more product in this episode. Last hope. I am really hoping because this is a pumpkin tart. It's got pumpkin pie, I believe. That's what they are, is little pumpkin pies. I'm losing hope in my pumpkin pie world. I mean, look at that. It looks just like the cross section of a pumpkin pie. All right, here we go. Tastes a lot of crust. <laughs> a lot of crust. I'm going to dig out the filling here. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good idea. But I want to see if that filling is actually tastes like pumpkin. Do you know what <laughs> they should be called? They should be called cream cheese tarts. Cause yes. That's what they have the flavor of cream cheese. Yeah. Um, well. Pumpkin nay. Pumpkin nay. Sorry to disappoint everybody with this first episode. We really just did not get a lot of pumpkin flavor out of any of these items. Now, mind oh. you, they all taste good. Yep. None of them were bad. Uh, it's just not what we were looking for. We want that pumpkin, that pumpkin zing. Mm hmm So hopefully, in some of the future products that we're going to be trying, we'll find some that have that real pumpkin flavor. Um, so check back for the next episode and maybe we'll have some